What is going on everybody? It is your boy PB99 coming at you with a car culture commentary. This is going to be a video series that I plan to make and I'm very new to it so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, pretty much what I'm going to talk about is popular trends in the car community or car culture and I'm pretty much going to discuss about it. If you read the title of this video, this is what this topic is about. It's about how the Enkai RPF1 became so popular that it's actually hated. Honestly, I have the Enkai RPF1s and I love them, but a lot of people are giving me criticism on my wheel choice. Even on my YouTube followers, they recommended me getting the Koenig Hypergram over the Enkai RPF1s. So let's get into it. What is a wheel? A wheel is a combination of a tire and rim. Here is a model representation. Uh, again, this isn't a modern representation, but it still works for this video. So in the middle part, right here it's called a rim a rim is the structural part of a wheel they are made in many different ways they can be cast forged rotary forged or they are flow formed uh, depending on how they're made depends on the quality and how strong and durable the rim is uh, i'm not going to get into that for this video but for the nki rpf ones they are rotary forged they are lightweight and they're very strong and they're pretty much really good for performance which is another reason why I bought them. The black part or the outer part of the wheel is called the tire. The tire is the rubber part of a wheel. It pretty much helps with ride quality going over bumps and they also provide grip for the car so the car can go very steadily for a stop. Uh, there are many different types of tires whether it's performance for winter driving or overall seasonal driving tires are very important when it comes to buying wheels. Wheels have been around forever. They have been on carriages and now they're on your Honda Civic. Honestly, it's kind of hard to predate when the first wheel was invented, but just know that it's been around forever. So now going into the car community and car culture, wheels have actually been become a fashion statement. They have been the number one customizable item on your car. So, uh, just to give you a, a bit of insight, wheels can cost around five, six thousand dollars for a, a set of wheels. They come from well-known brands like BBS and Workmeister, Work, Volk. All these well-known brands are top quality rims. Rims that I'm probably never gonna afford in my lifetime because again, I have debt to pay, I have school, a whole bunch of stuff that I need to, to worry about. So buying Workmeisters and BBS LMs, especially for my Prelude, is not really realistic. And I don't expect my viewers or anyone that doesn't is not rich to buy high class rims for their $400 car. Uh, no offense. Without wheels, our cars would not move. They're very important, they're very key to our car's basic identity. Honestly, without Hot Wheels, we would just have Hot. And that wouldn't be very fun now, would it? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You can say that Wheels have actually turned it into its own industry. Wait a minute. Isn't there a website where you can buy wheels and suspension parts and merch? What was it called again? It ends with industry. I, I, it's a tip of my tongue. Oh, well. Anyways. Wheels are extremely important to the car community. So there are two types of rims that people normally buy. You have the name brand stuff and you have the replicas. Replicas are copies of very popular rims. These can be the BBS LM, the NKI RPF1s, or the Volk TE37s. But they are more heavier and they are cast forged, meaning that they are pressurized they're not as lightweight, they're very heavy. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What, it's just an ordinary crabby, oh my goodness! I think that buying replicas are a good way to save money and you don't have to break bank trying to replicate a look from popular YouTubers or Instagram stars. Now that we talked about what a wheel is, let's get into the NKI RPF1s. Now, like I stated previously, the NKI RPF1 are rotary forged. If you guys want to look up how what Rotary Forge is or the method or see what it's like, I would highly suggest you watch a Fitment Industries video on Rotary Forge. I'll leave a link down in the description below. The Ankai RPF1s are actually replicas of a very popular Formula Racing rim called the P1000. 
RPF1. The R in the RPF1 stands for replica. Not a lot of people know this, but that's the origin of the RPF1s. According to Fitment, RPF1s are the most popular rim on their website and possibly one of the most bought rims ever. How can a rim that is so popular actually turn out to be something that is actually hated in the car community? Well, these rims look good on everything. They look good on Hondas, Acuras, Corvettes, even the freaking DeLorean. It's because it's overused and oversaturated in the car community, a lot of people got tired of it and it lost its charm. Personally, I like the rim because they fit on my car and they're very lightweight, so I don't really have to worry about using a ton of brake power to stop the car. Most people see buying NKI RPF1s as a safe option rather than being risky or outgoing. Personally, I've went through three sets of rims, including the NKI RPF1s. And if there's one thing I can say is, it's not really worth being outgoing if it actually costs ride quality or even damage to your car. I know some people who like to slam their cars and drive them, but in Milwaukee, it's literally pothole city. And there's a whole bunch of cracks and bumps in the road that really makes it very uncomfortable. Since I've had my NKI RPF1s, I've faced a lot of criticism on my rim choice. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I, I don't really see how having RPF1s make my car any less valuable or clean as they put it in the car community. Uh, personally, I don't understand why people have to make the, such a big deal about this. Rims should be a, a f icing on the cake. They shouldn't be the cake itself. Yes, there are such things as bad rims and ugly rims, but the NK RPF ones look good on everything. They're not bad at all. This has been Prelude Boy 99 signing out. Take care. Peace.